Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how I went from this to this. So keep on watching to see my transformation. So I'm going to start off by fixing my hair because it looks a hot mess. I'm just going to brush it out and smooth it. And I just clip half of it, it just makes it easier. So for this hairstyle, I like to have the top of my hair like straightish, not too like bone straight. Um, and just like curl upwards, like the ends upwards and like bumping them. You can see what I'm doing, but I like this. It looks cute. It's kind of like 60s or whatever. And don't forget to do the back of your head because we can see that too. And see, I'm giving you like Betty Cooper vibes. I take some foam and just flatten down the hair and get rid of flyaways. So taking a dark brown and a black eyeshadow, I take an eyebrow, eyebrow, what do you call it, brush? <laughs> and I just sort of fill it in my brows. I just fill them in and I concentrate on creating more of an arch because I don't really have an arch to my brows. So especially when I haven't waxed them in a long time. So I'm just going to create the arch and fill them in. I like them a bit dark. So there you go. And they look messy, but nothing that concealer cannot fix. So I'm going in with my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Toast, warm up on the back of my hand, and then just get to it, like fixing up my brows. I just make sure that I have a bit of an arch on the bottom part of my brows, and I do the top of it as well, but I did that off camera. Remember, your brows are sisters, not twins. They don't need to be identical. So that's what I say to make my feel, myself feel better. But. So I'm going to start off with my eyeshadow base. And I don't use eyeshadow primer. Like if you're cheap and you don't want to use or buy eyeshadow primer, you can just use a highlighter, concealer, um, whatever and just put it on your eyelids and I think it's the same it really creates the same base for your eyeshadow I go in with banana powder and just set it in place I'm taking my busted Jaclyn Hill palette and I'm taking the yellow shade I'm not gonna lie this really did not do much for my eyelid like honestly didn't do anything So with the orange shade, sorry, I don't know what these eyeshadows are called, but I'm taking the orange shade and I just take it on the, like the outer corner of my eyes and I'm concentrating like the pigment, the color on the outer corner and taking the rest of it inwards. Um, I don't know, I just like how this looks and just concentrating on the outer corner and just building up that product as I go. Build it up. And I'm taking that yellow that I used earlier and just sort of buffing out the edges. So I use these gold pigments and I use them with my finger because it's more pigmented that way and you don't have to be so neat, you can buff it out and be messy, this is not a cut crease so yeah just be a little bit messy with it. Some tight line in my eyes, this adds a bit of volume. And I also heard that when you take a bit of eyeliner in the inner corner and the outer corner of your eyes, it makes your eyes look a bit more like a feline, like cat eyes. I like that. I was feeling myself, guys. Time to moisturize. You should probably do this before you do your makeup, but you don't want your skin to be crusty underneath your foundation. So just do it anyway. So I'm doing concealer first and then just going to place my foundation everywhere else. Um, I don't want it to be too heavy underneath my eyes so I just do that sometimes. 
So as I said, I'm going to take that foundation everywhere else. Don't forget your moustache area and your forehead. I did not wet my sponge properly, so it literally felt like I was blending in my foundation with a rock. So wet your sponge properly next time. <laughs> um, just blend it into your hairline if you've got a frontal. You want to make it look a lot more natural. So I'm going heavy with this highlight just to make it look like I got four more hours sleep than I actually did. So just blend that out. I'm going to put all the products that I used down below. So again, I'm with the translucent powder. And I really like the finish of this powder. But with this highlight today, it really made it look like ashy. Um, so yeah, as you can see, it just looks a bit ashy. So I would just go in with a bit of that banana powder. Because I like my under eyes to look more yellow. So just adding that yellow back into it and take the product on the sides of your nose as well and that does like a reverse contour and buff it out i really don't make i don't let it sit there for too long i just buff it out this is my covergirl bronzer i love this bronzer honestly it looks so good i think it looks so good on dark skin it's just the best bronzer i don't think you can get it in the uk though so that's the only downside i don't think i used this contour before but it is good i don't even know what brand this is but it's good i just take it like underneath where i did bronzer to add a bit more definition and structure my face a little bit oh my gosh it is so hot so I'm taking that banana powder again and sculpting my face. Honestly, this is one of the things that changed like my face, like in my makeup look. I'm um, just adding that powder and I've got a bit of like a chubby face. So this does add some more sort of sculpting and structure to my face. Oh, I was hot. I was so hot. And this really was not blending out for me today. I had to put in extra work. Honestly, I don't know why. Put as much blush as you want. I like a lot of blush. And sometimes I'll do the same eyeshadow. Like that I put on my eyeshadow that I put on my eyes on my blush. Just to make it matchy. <coughs> if you're bad at putting on fake lashes, I really recommend this glue. It's the duo glue. And you literally just have to put it on your lash line. You don't have to wait too long. And then you just pop them on. And honestly, they're like you're ready to go. It's so easy. Lashes make a difference, guys. Like, look. So I'm using this product. I'm not going to lie. It was quite pointless. I thought it was going to add a little glow to me, but it, it did a little something, something, but like not a lot. So I just go in with my normal highlighter and I love this one. This is from Revolution. You can go a bit more heavy than I did. I was just tuning it down a bit. Don't forget your Cupid's bow in your nose. Oh, that is so... I'm taking the same colours that I put onto my crease onto the bottom lash line and this changes your look. Honestly, eyeshadow on the bottom lash line just brings everything together. I add a little bit of depth with the red. I did put a little bit of this in my crease as well. Put some on your brow bone just to get your brows popping so I'm finally doing my lips I'm taking antique velvet from max my favorite lipstick and I'm just gonna use it sort of like as a lip liner and I take a bit of the lipstick into the center of my lips as well and I take this mauvey sort of like lip color 
but I wanted it a bit more nude. I really wasn't sure of what lipstick to do, but I just added a little bit of gloss to get it popping. And this is the final look. I really hope you guys enjoy, and I'll see you next time. Bye.